Okay, so I wanted to show you guys real quick what just popped out of my chin. You just never know what you're going to get. So you can't see much. Let's enlarge, of course. Okay, so I'm really sorry you guys haven't heard as much from me as you probably should have. See, it hates focusing. See how bright that is. Hates it, and my hands are really not very... Stop it. You can see some of those sparkles in my fingernails and whatnot. Stop it. Okay, so it doesn't look like much from far away, but what you can see is that this is a geometric shape and it looks metallic in nature. That's what these fractals look like. They start out very microscopic, like I have said, very tiny, microscopic and small. I'm gonna try and get close in, but it really hates getting close in. So you can see some of the sparkles within my fingernails. Um, but yeah, you once these get bigger to the point where you can identify them individually, see what the what you can see is when you tilt it just right in the light they have light codes i'll try and uh, clip in a still image that is much more magnified because it hates when i try to get in close because they're light interactive and they carry light codes which carries information which is part of our akash and what we magnify to us um, you know, is going to be, you can see the sparkles in my hands. What we magnify to us is going to be the frequency that we are at. We also have a uh, specific genetic codes, uh, that need to be activated at certain times for, you know, our journey and our past. See, it just hates focusing. It just won't do it. Okay. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that that is what they look like sometimes individually. Uh, the only reason you're seeing the color on this right now is because I do have a flash on and I just have it on a four magnification. Um, otherwise you would not probably be able to see the color because they are translucent without light. See, without the light, it just looks black or translucent. Um, but once you put the light on it, it's a color. Now these different colors represent different attributes and different characteristics. So pink is unconditional love. This is more of a magenta pink or a hot pink, which I actually think is a little bit different than the uh, more pastel-y pink that re uh, is for unconditional love. So I would have to look this one up in particular. I have a feeling I kind of know. I'm going through a lot of heartache right, so, right now myself, so that's why you guys haven't seen a lot from me. Because I don't want to bring forward content when I'm not in a really great vibration. And I've just had to take some time and feel what I feel, which is heartbreak. I mean, honestly, so <laughs> I just haven't wanted to put any content out while I'm in that vibration. So that's why I kind of have been a little quiet. Um, I do apologize for that. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm moving forward one step at a time. You know, um, it's just hard thinking that you've, you know, I've built a life with somebody <laughs> for years and then realize that they maybe don't really want to build a life with you. So yeah, I'm accepting applications for anybody who wants a glow-in-the-dark girlfriend and one who sparkles, apparently, with all different rainbow sparkles. So, scratch and sniff. I mean, you don't really want to sniff. There's nothing to sniff. That would be weird. But scratch and look, I guess. Because, yeah, anywhere you scratch on me, you're going to see these, these fractals. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, man. I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. Anyways, what do you guys got going on? I miss you guys. I promise I'll try and get my crap together and, and put some more content out like I said I would soon. I just, like I said, I've worked on some stuff behind the scenes. I just didn't want to release it because I just wasn't in the greatest vibration. But yeah, if you close in, though, you can see those are embedded within the actual nails of your fingernails. True fact. So, all right, I'm going to bounce out. I love you guys. I'll catch you on the rebound. Go out there and keep committing those random acts of kindness. Unless you guys really want just a quick update. Let's see. Yeah. Still there, still sparkly as ever. But that's what those fractals look like uh, one by one individually. To see more of that uh, and more of what those look like one by one individually, you can check out some of my other work. One would be groundbreaking images under the microscope. Uh, let's go back out. And then another one would be, gosh, there's so many, honestly. Um, I'm trying to... I'm trying to think of what, there's just, I don't know, there's quite a few that I've actually shown these uh, individually under microscopic uh, images or enhanced imagery. So just check out my content, you'll find it somewhere. Uh, like I said, that groundbreaking images one uh, definitely will show some of these in, in a more um, individualistic way. So, all right, I love you guys. I'll catch you on the rebound. How are you guys doing? Are you shining yet? Oh, and by the way, we are like solar panels. Uh, I figured that out this weekend. The more we are in the sun, the more we like solar panel this energy because we're taking in um, sun as a food source. So it's like a photosynthesis kind of thing. And uh, we store that energy, which makes our sparkles more activate. 
I haven't actually been in the sun today. You should see me when I go in the sun now. All I have to do is stay in the sun for like 15 minutes. Uh, there's that one sparkle still. Uh, it's like 15 minutes. That's all it takes. You know, that's all it takes for me. And then I'm like a solar panel battery. I don't, yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't make it up if I tried. All right, are you guys sparkling? All right, I'll talk to you soon. I'll catch you.